Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning here in not so sunny San Diego, but I'm okay with that. The gray weather kind of forces us all to slow down and take a little bit more time, spend some time at home, and I'm certainly okay with doing that. I'm actually just sitting here, uh, just woke up not too long ago and just kind of sitting here thinking and easing myself into my day. I'm drinking some uh, elderberry juice that I made um, a couple days ago. And I love elderberries because they're really, um, really good for the immune system, really great for the skin. Mine's great as you can see. Um, uh, and they, they they don't taste too bad. I thought they taste pretty bitter, but they're not too bad. But anyway, that's not why you came here. Um, so I'm doing this video because um, I was sitting uh, and watching uh, one of the people that I follow on Instagram. His name is Feel Good Life. And he was talking about um, some of the things that I've been thinking about as well and some of my friends um, in the consciousness community have been talking about for a very long time. And, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, um, we all can't help but wonder is, you know, is this a coincidence? Is what's going on, you know, something that is just a freak accident of nature? Is that just life? Or, you know, is there more to it? Is there, is this something that, you know, we all maybe collectively called in? And so that was what he was talking about this morning and just talking about the collective energy that is us, um, you, me, um, everything that's a part of the universal life force energy, uh, the collective. And so uh, what really stood out to me this morning about what he was talking about was how um, a lot of us go through life and we play both victim and perpetrator in the sense that um, a lot of us go through life and we're just living life and we are impacting life. We are impacting the collective and it, it, with our decisions, with our actions, with our energy. And oftentimes we may not think about how our actions impact other people, impact the world around us. But then in turn, when that same world, that same universal collective energy comes and impacts us, uh, we oftentimes cry wolf. We scream, help me. They're doing this to me. They're doing that to me. And so, I mean, he used some really great examples of, you know, how many times a lot of people in anger or in hurt will tear down another person and will gossip and will uh, basically destroy another person's reputation or harm another person energetically. But then when you turn around and that's done to you, we play the victim. I can't believe they would do this to me. I can't believe they would do that to me. And uh, the same thing, you know, if you're in a relationship, you know, doing certain things to play certain games to, you know, then in turn be a victim. And so like I look around and I look at my own life and I look at how many times that I played the victim, how many times I maliciously um, torn someone down and felt justified in that and felt like, oh, you know what, they deserve this because they're an asshole or because they had it coming or because, yes, I curse on my channel. And if that offends you, I'm sorry, that's just me and I'm going to be authentic. So um, there are other uh, YouTubers, bloggers who don't curse, so that may be more your fit, but uh, I speak very... Uh, authentically here. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so yeah, so taking a look at all those things, it it makes me wonder if um, whether we have a virus, a pandemic, or some other big natural global disaster. Um, since I've been living, there's been nothing, you know, that's happened like this that's caused everybody globally to really get on the same page, to really get... Um, on one accord, so to speak, whereas now everyone's being more mindful of what's going on in the world. Everyone's being more mindful of each other. Everyone is being more mindful of how they um, behave in terms of spreading you know, the disease. And so for me, that seems like such a first step of getting us all on this accord of just mindfulness and, and a global shift in the collective consciousness. And so personally, bringing it back home it makes me sit and want to assess my own self. Like, how am I showing up in life as the perpetrator? How am I affecting or impacting you all, the collective? How, what am I putting out? What is my energy output? What is my, um, how is the world experiencing me? 
you know, even even with my friends, if we're all just kind of sitting around and gossiping and, you know, I'm still affecting that immediate world around me. You know, even with right now, the pandemic that's going around, even how so many people, you know, people are buying things, people are doing things in bulk. You know, what are your thoughts around those people? How are you judging those people? What are, you know, I read so many comments of people, you know, calling people selfish and I hope you die and, you know, so many things like that. And that's exactly like what this point in time, I believe, is trying to show us that we all show up and we're all the perpetrator. Listen, people are just responding to this based on where they already were in life. And so when people go into a frenzic, a, a, a frenzy or a panic, I said a frenzic, I combined two words. Uh, when people go into a frenzy or a panic, um, they're just really acting out of, of, of a place where they already are, whether that be a broken place, whether that be an unfulfilled place, a place of trauma, something that's not been healed. People are just acting out of that space. And so my question is, what if like the energy we put out is the reason why we are where we are? And what if the, the, the shift, we shift our energy that we put out and what if that's the solution? What if that is what we're all being forced to learn? That's something to think about. And so, you know, it, it's... It's an interesting time, but I, I just encourage everyone to just, you know, check your energy. Watch the energy that you you put out. Uh, there's definitely, it's definitely a time where we are being forced to all look at what's going on in our personal lives, whether it be you starting looking at your health and, you know, how you're washing your hands or how you're doing su subtle little things. I believe that this time is going to trickle over in so many other areas of life in terms of how we show up. I mean, even, you know, how, I mean, look at so many jobs and so many companies that can't, that aren't equipped to work remotely or have their employees work from home. And so those businesses are devastated now. I think we'll be at a place to where we'll even look at things like that of, hey, how do we make this, how do we make our business recession proof or uh, calamity proof so when something happens, people can still work and business can still get done remotely. Um, a lot of schools, a lot of businesses just aren't set up like that. And this is going to hit them, you know, majorly. And my heart goes out to those. But, you know, pay attention to these times. Pay attention to each other. Slow down. Watch your energy output and see what happens.